Hello and welcome back to DevExplaining channel. Today is uh, fourth and probably final uh, part in my uh, brainwave series. In the earlier parts you've seen uh, some theory on, on how the brainwaves work, uh, what they do, how they can be detected with some hardware and how we can use a little bit of Python to tap into that information and treat the brain as an IoT device in a way. Then uh, in, in the previous part I showed you how we can do some recordings and then analyze the rec recordings with a Jupyter notebook or other uh, kind of data analysis or data science tools. We could obviously do a machine learning algorithm uh, to gain some insights as well with that data. Uh, today is going to be a rather quick one. I'm going to show you how we can glue a little bit of Python, uh, tap into the brain and then connect that to something else to control the, the real world around us. So stay tuned. I think today's uh, part will be quite interesting. Uh, I'm going to start with a little bit of code. So I explain first what I'm doing and where you can find it. All this is uh, in the GitHub repository. So if you check out the project Illithid, if you just want to generally take a look at this, what you will find there, we have earlier went through what's in the mind reader folder, but we also have the hue control folder and uh, you can probably imagine what I'm going to show based on the name. So I have imported both my own Mindwave uh, headset library and Philips Hue uh, control library. And then I have some set setups here, uh, how to connect uh, to my bridge. I have already authorized my application to do that. And uh, then I just glue things together. So hopefully we can connect to my, my Mindwave headset here. And then after we have connected, what we can do is do some algorithm. And in my case, I have created a helper uh, file called Hue Controller. Let's see where that is. Hue Controller, where was it? Here we go, Hue Controller, yeah. So Hue Controller is my uh, little class that's going to kind of bridge things on. So when I raise the in intensity, I have some rules how to do that. And then we have uh, kind, kind of, we are playing with a few hue parameters. So let's, let's actually see how all that turns out. Uh, now I have to start my uh, machine. I'm sorry you cannot see this part, but uh, it's unfortunately not working, working on my uh, Windows machine. So I have to do this on my Linux desktop. However, there's not, not much to see. I just start my Python program based on the previous things. Just a second, I need to install one more module named PlaySound. Uh, just a second, Python 3M, pip install PlaySound. Here we go. I'm always missing some library because uh, I have uh, made the mistake of uh, changing my Python environment. So let's Let's try to see if I can activate my module. Yeah, initiating. So the way the code works is that if I'm able to concentrate, I will get the intensity go up and the intensity here is defined as lights in the room. And right now I have otherwise uh, turned off the lights, but I have one light here. I think if I move a little bit, you might be able to see it. There's a white light. so. I think it's time to up the intensity. Now, this is the part where I have to actually do something with my brain. As you can see, I'm not moving otherwise. So uh, I have to uh, stimulate, I need some attention going on. I can actually here see when I manage to do that, although you, you cannot, but let's see, you should be able to see the effect when I manage to concentrate. So let's let's try to concentrate. Yeah, there's some intensity going on. You should see something happening on the background while I do this because I have one light that I'm targeting. When I start speaking, I, I lose the focus and attention. So stay patient. Let's wait a bit more. I need to focus a little, little bit. Yeah. As you can see on the background, the light is getting more red and intensity is growing. And now we hit the peak actually. So it's starting to flash all the lights in my room. So uh, yeah, every every time I ray up the intensity, it's now giving me kind of this message. So 
Just a rather simple demo, as I said, all the code is in the GitHub. Just a rather simple demo how you can actually uh, do something without moving a muscle. And that's one of my favorite things, to be able to achieve some, something uh, with less work. So instead of having to walk there and turn some switches or even use a cell phone app, I was just thinking something. Of course, disclaimer, I wasn't thinking set light to maximum and put in intensity to uh, put the color to red. I was mainly focusing and the focusing was something I could grab. So obviously this is not very precise. If you want to see precise, you should really uh, wait for Elon Musk's Neuralink or some other kind of research, research projects that are much farther. But I'm just a hobbyist and you can see what I'm able to achieve with just few lines of Python. If you're curious, take a look at the repository. Uh, enjoy the code, it's there for you to see. Link is in the description of the video. And if you enjoyed this video, if it uh, stimulated you in any ways, please like the video, uh, share the link for your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. If you are a real fan, also click the bell icon and you will get notifications when I do more crazy stuff like this. Thank you for watching today's episode and see you next week. Bye bye.